What the Thunder Said by T.S. Eliot After the torchlight red on sweaty faces, after the frosty silence in the gardens, after the agony in stony places, the shouting and the crying, prison and palace and reverberation of thunder of spring over distant mountains, he who is living is now dead. We who were living are now dying with a little patience. Here is no water, but only rock. Rock and no water and the sandy road. The road winding above among the mountains which are mountains of rock without water. If there were water, we should stop and drink. Amongst the rock one cannot stop or think. Sweat is dry and feet are in the sand. If there were only water amongst the rock, dead mountain mouth of carrier's teeth that cannot spit, here one can neither stand nor lie nor sit. There is not even silence in the mountains but dry, sterile thunder without rain. There is not even solitude in the mountains but red sullen faces sneer and snarl from doors of mud-cracked houses. If there were water and no rock, if there were rock and also water, and water a spring, a pool among the rock, if there were the sound of water only, not the cicada in the dry grass singing, but sound of water over a rock, where the hermit thrust sings in the pine trees, drip, drop, drip, drop, 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 drop. But there is no water. Who is the third who always walks beside you? When I count, there are only you and I together, but when I look ahead up the white road, there is always another one walking beside you, gliding, wrapped in a brown mantle, hooded. I do not know whether a man or a woman, but who is that on the other side of you? What is that sound high in the air? Murmur of maternal lamentation. Who are those hooded hordes swarming over endless plains, stumbling in cracked earth, ringed by the flat horizon only? What is the city over the mountains, cracks and reforms and bursts in the violet air, falling towers, Jerusalem, Athens, Alexandria, Vienna, London, unreal? A woman drew her long black hair out tight and fiddled whisper music on those strings and bats with baby faces in the violet light whistled and beat their wings and crawled head downward down a blackened wall and upside down in air with towers tolling reminiscent bells that kept the hours and voices singing out of empty cisterns and exhausted wells. In this decayed hole among the mountains, in the faint moonlight, the grass is singing over the tumbled graves about the chapel. There is the empty chapel, only the wind's home. It has no windows and the door swings. Dry bones can harm no one. Only a cock stood on a roof tree. Kukuriku, kukuriku and a flash of lightning, then a damp gust bringing rain. Ganga was sunken, and the limp leaves waited for rain, while the black clouds gathered far distant over Himavant. The jungle crouched, humped in silence, then spoke the thunder, Da. Data. What have we given, my friend, blood shaking my heart? The awful daring of a moment's surrender which an age of prudence can never retract. By this and this only we have existed, which is not to be found in our obituaries or in memories draped by the beneficent spider or under seals broken by the lean solicitor in our empty rooms. Da. Diathram. I have heard the key turn in the door once and turn once only. We think of the key, each in his prison, thinking of the key. 
each confirms a prison, only at nightfall ethereal rumors revive for a moment a broken Coriolanus. Da. Damnita. The boat responded gaily to the hand expert with sail and oar. The sea was calm. Your heart would have responded gaily when invited, beating obedient to controlling hands. I sat upon the shore fishing with the arid plain behind me. Shall I at least set my lands in order? London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Poi si scosse nel fuoco che glia fina, quando fiam, uti che le don, o swallow, swallow, la prance d'acquitaine la tua avoli. These fragments I have shored against my ruins, why then I'll fit you, her animals mad again. Data, diatram. Damnita. Shanti. Shanti. Shanti.